Okay, so the question is, if you're a Course in Miracles student and you're doing the lessons daily, you're on lesson 104, and you already know everything that's in the course, so why do you have to do them? You Like, for example, you know you need to forgive. Do you need to read the lesson again and, and do the exercise again? And uh, what if you're not doing the lessons perfectly? Should you stay on the same lesson for more than one day? So there's a few different aspects to that. Um, I would say that it's, this is just my view, is it's really important to do one lesson a day and it doesn't matter whether it's perfectly or not, but just keep doing a lesson a day. Usually my experiences with course students is as soon as they go into the trap of I'm gonna stay on this lesson until it's done perfectly, uh, usually they drop out and they stop doing the lessons because they'll do like a lesson for several days. And then usually what you hear is that they've stopped doing the course. Whereas the students that do a lesson a day, even if it's not perfect, they move on to the next one, tend to make more progress. So I think it's more of an ego mechanism saying, you didn't do the lesson perfectly today. So just let, keep repeating that lesson and you can only move on in the course uh, when you've done this lesson perfectly. But usually I find that the student doesn't do that lesson perfectly after several days and drops out of the course. And the students that sort of say it's okay not to do it perfectly, but to carry on. I, had, I didn't do it perfectly today, but tomorrow I'll do another lesson, do end up finishing the course. And actually, I, I found that if you do the next lesson and the next lesson the day after, you usually end up finding out what the lesson was that you didn't do perfectly three days ago. It eventually comes to you a few days later as you carry on doing the course. And um, I did it for multiple years in a row. I mean, I think I did it for something like nine or 10 years uh, um, and just picked up the next year. So it doesn't really matter if you do one day because you're going to do it the next year again and the year after. But I found with every year I did it, especially for the first three to five years, there was a deeper shift from year to year and then more subtle of shift. And uh, so it's not essential. And also something that Hawkins said, you know, every lesson is holographic. It's, it's kind of like um, in each lesson, you could get the whole meaning of the course and liberation from one lesson. And they all have that capacity. So it's not important to not get one lesson. It's okay to move on to the next lesson and read it. It's also okay not to do it perfectly. Um, but I do think, here's the thing, it's like the ego wants you to stop doing those lessons. And if you commit to doing them every day and not get dissuaded to, to stop doing the lessons, then there is something mystical that happens if you just commit to doing it every day. And um, you get a kind of, um, it's like building up a spiritual muscle, you know, for someone who's done them imperfectly for, for many years, you're gonna be far more ahead than someone who tries to do it perfectly and then ends up only doing 20 days because they, didn't, they only wanna carry on going further and doing lessons perfectly. I do think it's, um, it's, uh, it's almost like if you're doing the lessons every day, it's like there's a set of, a Course in Miracles angels out there in the ether. And as long as you're doing it every day, they will try and aid you. Uh, but if you suddenly stop doing, the, stop doing the lessons every day, it's like it's not their job to sort of take care of you. So um, I'm in 12-step groups, and I think there's 12-step angels that um, support you as long as you do the 12 steps. They're sort of assigned to looking after all the 12. But as soon as you opt out of the 12 steps, you're not, no longer doing it. You're not their problem any longer. They don't have to help you out. I think I do also think there's some um, ACM assigned angels for all the ACM students. So I would try doing them every day because you're probably not just doing the lessons. You're probably getting heavenly assistance as well. So I would um, the ego just wants you to stop completely reading the Course in Miracles, and I would um, just my view. I I wouldn't suggest that to any any course student just try and do something every day. And you're sort of linking into a field of spiritual, a heavenly field of support, uh, which, will, which will aid you in many ways that you do not know. So that's my thing on, um, oh yes, 
And what about the, so this is a really important idea that's coming up a lot to me from people I'm talking to. If I know something intellectually, why do I have to apply the, the lesson again? Because I already, like if, you, if you've gone through all the lessons of Course in Miracles, surely you never need to read the book again. Well, it does actually say that. That's a bit confusing because at the end of the course lessons, it says you're now free and you never need to can throw the book away. But generally, can, I would say you only throw the book away when you're enlightened. Um, otherwise, really, you, you're applying the lessons, even though you intellectually understand them over and over again until you get full liberation. What do I mean by that? Full liberation is when uh, I'll be talking in other videos on addiction to thought. So just because you intellectually understand forgiveness or you understand there's nothing to forgive, if you're still in your head, you still need to apply the lessons until you're free. I don't know if that makes sense. Even though you intellectually understand it in your head, you still need to keep doing it until your head is no longer there. Just because you understand it doesn't mean you're free. So even if, let's say there's a lesson, God is the love in which I forgive. I mean, I could, if you were just to use that lesson for complete liberation, uh, if you've read it once and you intellectually understand what it's about, but you're still in your head afterwards and thinking about it, you still need to keep applying it until you're no longer in thought. Does, um, so you haven't really, just because you understand it doesn't mean you've transcended the ego. Uh, you still need to apply the lessons until full liberation is received. And intellectually understanding, okay, so an early lesson in the Course in Miracles is God is the love in which I forgive. And it says later in the lessons that you will one day realize there's, there was nothing ever to forgive. But if you intellectually understand that there's nothing to forgive, that's not the point. You haven't earned the experience of, of, um, of timelessness, thoughtlessness, and uh, locationlessness. So... Just because you intellectually understand it doesn't mean you, need, you, you can stop doing the lessons. You stop doing the lessons once you've transcended the head and transcended the world. So even though you intellectually understand it, you should carry on doing it. Just the same thing with the 12 step groups. If you intellectually understand the big book, but you're still drinking, you'd still keep applying the big book and all the things it asks you of. Uh, you wouldn't just say, well, I understand it, so I'm not gonna try applying the the big book any longer same with the course of miracles even if you intellectually understand it you still need to apply it and all there's a, there's another trap which is intellectually understanding different levels of consciousness like you can understand god is loving which i forgive i need to forgive someone because i'm holding on to a grievance so i can understand that but i can also understand there's nothing to forgive i can intellectually understand that at a certain point um I will have no ego thoughts left. I will no longer be in my head. And I'll experience oneness. And there will be no me and there'll be no you. And the whole world will be seen to have been a illusion, a dream, which was not real. But intellectually understanding that and actually experiencing that are totally different things. So just because you understood it doesn't mean you, you're there. So it just means you intellectually understand it. So that's mixing levels of consciousness. You see, this is a great grandiosity because the ego just wants you to understand and stop doing the work. But the point of the, of the spiritual um, texts are to do the work until your ego disappears. It's not, it's not to do the work so your ego understands it. Um, uh, and, and I've got, just got a message I understand. Uh, it's not to do the work so your ego understands it and then you, you're finished. That's not the point, is to do the work until your ego no longer exists. And that's the point. So it, the, the, all its spiritual work is not about understanding, it's about liberation. The ego would love you just to read a book and understand it and still be in the head afterwards, because then you haven't really got anywhere. Okay, I'll 